Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you. So you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello, everybody. It's Andy Smith, your host with the most 31-year comic book veteran. Oh, yeah. Hello. I'm here. First Man Volume 2 is shipping out. As I record this, I'm doing fulfillment on my book, 64 Pages of Fun, Superhero Excitement. You can get it now at the link below. Go back it. I'm doing fulfillment daily. Don't forget, you can also get the wonderful Bart Sears variant cover as well. All right, on with the show. Today's book look is Dale Keown's Pit Full Bleed Sketchbook. This little scene awesomeness book of fantastic awesomeness is here for you let's take a look at it together it's printed on newsprint it's in black and white some of this some uh stuff i love is always black and white this came out in uh 2001 21 years ago this book is old enough to drink all right raise a glass if you will dale keown's art is uh, I first discovered it on the Incredible Hulk. Then there was uh, Dark Ring, then Dragon Force as well, which I remember getting. And now, uh, after the Hulk, he did Pit at Image, doing what he does best. Big stuff, monstrous stuff. What I like about this is you've got some early Hulk stuff in here. Look at this, Hulk all armored up to the teeth with guns and whatnot a funny shot here of the hulk bruce banner with the hulk's arms uh dale keown mixed bernie wrightston and uh john byrne and just melded them together so lovely Look at this little self-portrait of dale from 1990 funny thing he still kind of looks like that that dude does not age i tell you young at heart I wish these scans were a little better. They could have been adjusted in Photoshop so it wasn't so dark down here, unless that was intentional. Maybe it was. I don't know. But I love this because it gives you a, a look into the, the artist's eye. I love this right here. Great structural anatomy. Dale does some boss lighting. Great horrific looking effects and dale also does the cute stuff oh look at me i'm a little baby even fish just fish that look evil look at this little kid oh puppy dog here then we get into some pit stuff right here his pencils up in here and then the finished inks here with the buildings added and and such just great perspective and lighting i'm looking forward to a pit omnibus hopefully he'll get on that soon because i only have i have two trade paperbacks of pit and i have uh a couple of the issues after the trades but i know it went up to 20 issues 21 issues and i need those love seeing the progression here for that gnarly cover you can see it goes colors to pencils and stuff very cool 
This is a darkness cover he did. Once again, just really gets the creep out for the nightmarish look of it. Witchblade, beautiful. Would have been great to see Dale do a full uh, issue of Witchblade. I love, this is pencils. Look how tight his pencils are. Just insane. This is his sketch, right? That's a sketch. This is the finished pencils. You look at the line work right up in here on these teeth. I mean, this really is a thing of why even ink it. I would love to see Kevin Nolan ink, uh, ink Dale. I think that would be awesome. These gaping maws with these huge teeth. Dale does uh, nightmare stuff. And brings it to life. This is stuff you'd see in your nightmares. Here's Pitt looking like a boss. I wish these were full pages instead of four to a page. So you could see them better. And, and I could see them better as well. This was from issue 19. So for instance, I don't have this issue. Uh, he worked with a lot of great anchors. One Pitt, Joe Rubenstein. Uh, Dan Panosian, Mark Farmer, who was one of my favorite inkers uh, over Dale's work. He inked some of the Hulk stuff as well. His pencils are so lush. Oh, look at this. This should be black right here, and this should be black right here. Black. Oh, well, hold on. Maybe not. Maybe this is just, a, if when this is colored, it would be a different color because it's every other one. So maybe it's not supposed to be black. Maybe it's not. Snot. I said snot. He said snot. Gross. Just look at these pencils. Pa pit tray paperback too. I have this tray paperback. Great framing device. Um... You can see some gray tones in it. So I'm I'm guessing this wasn't supposed to be inked. And this was just colored over top of these pencils. How he keeps everything so clean. And it looks like he's using a soft pencil lead too. Like uh, 2B maybe. Not even an HB. But then we get into what I love seeing. Inks. Seeing how people interpreted the pages. This is from pit number one. I can't remember if pit number one was inked by uh, Joe Rubenstein or somebody else. But just look at this lovely little whiteout right here. Nice thin line of whiteout. That's all you need for a halo or to pop that hair off his face. It's just this nice thin line. These would be great to scan in at a high res and then uh, shoot over to a colorist to see what a colorist would do with these. I mean, you want to talk about a book that had balls, pit. You just look at these pages and you're like, oh yeah, this book just exuded manliness and balls. And then some more sketchbook stuff here. I wouldn't want to mess with her. It's like a female pit. More luscious inks right here. He says, I did this piece for the fun of it. I wanted the creature to look as gnarly as the tree it's perched in. Uh, you did a awesome job, Dale. That is uh, gnarly as hell. You can see some of the Bernie Royston influence here. In fact, it would have been cool to see this inked by uh, by Bernie because Bernie's line, Bernie's use of a brush was more organic. So it would have been cool to see that more organic. This is a little technical with how fine and perfect the brush lines are pulled, but it's still nice. And then we end with one of my favorite images of Pitt. 1992, just gorgeous. Pitt is a boss right there really makes me want to want to draw him 
See, when I see stuff like this, my mind goes to, I want to draw a pit, but I want to do it with this type of rendering style, with the light coming down, and then this cross-hatching here is reflected light bouncing back up and in. So the overhead light is the brightest, and then the reflected light with this cross-hatching wouldn't be as strong. So cool. Fullbleed.com. I don't think that's around anymore. Very cool. So there you have it, guys. The Pit Sketchbook. Nice video. It's cool to see how far Dale's come. You look at that compared to... Let me see what I got here that I can show real quick. You look at that compared to... This is a twofer. Dragon Force. This is... Uh, so that, that Pit was from 2001. This Dragon Force is from... 1989 so 22 years earlier so we'll just go through this real quick you can see dale on what he's going to become this is definitely more john byrne in the artwork the faces look at the body construction still nice perspectives that face you can look through pit and see that same type of beautiful rendering on the face uh, this is very John Byrne type body. Love looking at early work like this. Great brush inking here. Nice use of silhouette here. This always reminded me of Iron Fist. That dude's like, look at my chin. I will break stuff with my chin. But it's so cool. I love this fine rendering right here. The way he did the hair. Now here you go. Look at that. Look at that. And... You can see... Dale. The, the stuff... The, the structure. The way an artist constructs a figure is like a fingerprint. We all have our unique way of doing it. And you can see... The evolution from 1989 here to 2000, or well, actually, this is, this is cool. 1989, 1992, three years, and look at the difference. In between these three years, Dale did a run on the Hulk, and when you work every day, day in, day out, penciling a monthly book, your art will grow so fast, and you can just see the difference three years makes. That is just fantastic. And I think that is where we're going to end this video. Thank you for joining me for this book look. I am Andy Smith. Once again, you can go down below, get my new book. They're right here. So you know if you order it, you'll get it in a very short amount of time. First Man. And you can get Volume 1 as well. But you don't need it. Volume 2 is a self-contained story. My cover, Bart Sears cover. Get it. Enjoy it. I will catch you guys later. Check out my website, andysmithart.com. Ciao, everybody. Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.